Happy Thursday! Today's make it is seed paper or seed bombs. In your supply packet, you have your instruction sheet and tissue paper, a spray bottle, and a pouch of seeds. Uh, the seeds inside are bee balm and purple prairie clover. These are both native to Indiana and they are great for pollinators like bees and butterflies. They are wildflowers and you can just plant them in your yard. Obviously don't plant them where you're not allowed to. All right, so the first thing you want to do is add water to your spray bottle. And you won't need a whole lot, just enough to get the paper wet. All right, so once you've got water in there, you're going to spread out your tissue paper. Now. Uh, when I did my first example, I just did one sheet, got it wet, spread the seeds. Um, but I think that two sheets is going to be better. So I'm just going to put both down. And then you take your spray bottle and get one side wet. And you might want to put it on a surface that you don't mind getting wet. And also the color from the tissue paper might bleed a little bit. So keep that in mind. A little wetter. And then you're going to take your seed packet and open it. And <clears throat> you can just rip this top piece off. And the seeds are inside. And you're just going to dump them onto the wet tissue paper. Sure they're pretty well spread out. Try to keep them away from the edges. They tend to pop out. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it just a little bit more. And then you're going to take the dry side and fold it over and press it down gently. Add a little more water if you need to. You want to make sure that the two sides of the paper touch and will dry together. So this is the easiest seed paper that you can make. And then you just set that aside to dry. Uh, It'll take a couple hours, maybe a little longer, depending on how humid or dry your house is. And the end result looks something like this. So you can see the bumps where the seeds are. And you can draw uh, 
shapes, you know, like a heart or a flower, and cut it out. Or you can just cut strips, and you just plant these in the soil. Make sure that it stays watered, and it should sprout in a week or a few days. I also have information on the two types of flowers that I provided seeds for. Um, it gives a little information on what areas they grow best in and potential uses for the plants once they do grow and flower. Right, the other option, which I'm not going to make, are seed bombs. And what you'll do is you'll take the paper and instead of laying it flat like that, you're going to shred it or cut it into small pieces like this and add water and the tissue paper pieces into a blender or like a magic bullet uh, to create a pulp. And once you've done that, you take the pulp from the blender squeeze out the excess water over a sink or a bowl and then you're going to take some of the pulp and make a small uh, crater in the center so if this was the pulp you've got your crater and you're going to put a few seeds in there and then close that ball up and let that dry it'll take at least 24 hours if not longer depending on like i said earlier the humidity of where you're drying it and then once it's dry, you can just plant, you can plant it or you can just toss it into your yard and see if it'll grow that way. All right. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy making the seed paper or the seed bombs and adding a little extra pollinator friendly blooms to the area. Thanks for watching.